Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Greg Lardy, and I've got the privilege of serving as the Vice President for Agricultural Affairs. It's my privilege to welcome you to our awards program this afternoon, our 2022 Agriculture and Extension Faculty and Staff Awards Program. It's a privilege to welcome uh, both our in-person audience and our online audience. Uh, and we're excited to be able to offer this program in a hybrid fashion after a couple of years of going uh, totally online. This annual event brings us together to celebrate a rich tradition of recognizing the accomplish accomplishments of our faculty and staff. There are 51 nominees for our awards this year. Each of our nominees are gonna receive a $50 gift card to the NDSU bookstore that may be used in store online. And each of those 10 award recipients will receive a $1,000 honorarium. We wanna say a special thank you to those of you who, who submitted nominations. We know that this takes time and effort on your part, and that effort is much appreciated. We also wanna say thank you to those of you that served on our selection committees. Year after year, we continue to hear how hard it is to select just one nominee for each of these awards. It's a testament to the outstanding contributions and accomplish accomplishments of our faculty and staff. I'd like now to welcome President David Cook to the stage to make a few comments. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lardy. Um, congratulations to, to all of you, the nominees and the awardees. It's a pretty prestigious group with a pretty broad and interesting um, list of achievements and accomplishments and all the great work that you all do. And so um, I think I wanted to let you know that in, in my time here since I started in May, a big part of my introduction to NDSU has been to agriculture and, and the great work that you all do. You, I think you know the story, right? Dr. Lardy dragged me and others around the state and got the great chance to, to see a number of the extension centers, the RECs, to really appreciate, uh, for me, what, what the 1862 land grant means to North Dakota State, what this university means uh, to the state of North Dakota and the region. Uh, and it was a, an incredible experience and, and, and the learning continues. Uh, kind of every day in lots of different ways. Uh, and so I want to say that I appreciate all the great work that you do. People across the state certainly do uh, in terms of all the amazing, you know, research, service, uh, and education that goes on. It's incredibly meaningful uh, and as, as good as it gets, I think, genuinely anywhere. And then for those of you who are awardees or even nominees to, to be identified from, I think, a pretty prestigious group of folks who are doing great work, I think that's just yet another uh, way of uh, where we all can just say thank you to, to, to the great work that you're doing and, and you all should feel very good about kind of making the list, so to speak. So uh, with that, I just wanna say congratulations to everyone and for everybody in the room, thank you and everyone online. Uh, thank you for all that you do for, for the state and for the university. I and we all really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, President Cook, for taking time out of your schedule to join us for a few minutes this afternoon. I want to recognize a few other special guests that are with us uh, th today. Uh, in addition to the uh, parts of my administrative team that you'll hear from and, and be uh, receiving some of the awards from uh, during the program, we also have uh, Interim Provost Dr. David Bertolini with us, uh, along with Jane Shu, Director of Strategic Initiatives for the Ag Experiment Station. I now want to welcome uh, Dr. Rold Lund to the stage. Rold and his wife, Janet, uh, have been longtime supporters of this program. In fact, our donors uh, that support one of the uh, awards for our program this afternoon. And so Rold's gonna come up and uh, make a few comments about, uh, about the program itself, but also from the perspective of a donor in terms of why he uh, continues to support this program and these awards. So please help me in welcoming uh, Dr. Lund to the stage. It's just amazing how fast time goes by. I started here as a student in 1951, and I retired as a professor emeritus in plant science in 1999. And during those years, we taught and we researched and we did extension work. 
And we had a president at that time, this, this program back goes back down to, you might say, uh, Dr. Lofgar, he was uh, the um, president of this university from 1940, uh, uh, from um, 1968 to 1987. He was the first president from North Dakota. All the other presidents that we'd had up under them at that time had come from the East or from non-land grant schools. It turns out that Dr. Lofsgaard was the first person from North Dakota, a little town of Hoople. But he <laughs> was a AgiCon graduate, so he was an uh, NDSU alum. And he really kind of put the word land grant in the right perspective. All the other presidents had come from basically non-land grant schools. But Dr. Lofsgaard believed in the motto that we had during our centennial was the land and its people. And so he surrounded himself with people that were from North Dakota. His vice president for um, finance was from Williston. His vice president for academic affairs was from Hoople, believe it or not. His uh, dean, director of extension service was from Watford City and his dean of agriculture, me, was uh, from Nome, North Dakota, believe it or not. So anyway, the people responded to this. And they, during Laura Lofsgaard's tenure, this place grew tremendously in faculty and in buildings. The people responded in such a way that they created what they called the President's Ag Club. And the President's Ag Club put out a, a little brochure. And this brochure then said, the Agricultural Achievement Awards Endowment Program. And it went on to say, I'm an old lot I have a paper. President of the Agriculture Club was a sponsor of this basically event, the Agriculture Achievement Awards Endowment Program. The program is designed to help relative return top quality faculty and staff by saying thank you and by providing recognition and financial awards for outstanding service. Let's visit about my memory. Some of these names you will not remember or know at all. The Larson Yegi Excellence in Research. These were farmers and they were members of the President's Ag Club and they were very, very much involved in athletics. Eugene Dahl is a name I think some of you might remember but he was with the Steiger Tractor and Amity and Concord and uh, a Bobcat. It was his family that designed the, or created and built the Bobcat from Gwinner. Earl and Dorothy Foster, he was my department chairman for many, many years. And uh, they, they are no longer living, but they sponsored the, uh, the, program, the program for teaching. Then there's myself, Janet and I, we um, created the Excellence in Teaching Award also. Um, and uh, basically, um, well, you know who I am, you know that my wife Janet right over here. So uh, we're still around. The William and Angela Austin Excellence in Advising, Laura Lofsgaard just loved teaching. And he had a, 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 an advisee, uh, Austin. Uh, and so when they had an opportunity, this person, I think he was a farmer from near Castle, and I don't know if he's still around or not, but that was, that was the reason why he established the award in, uh, in advising. The Excellence in Extension, that's Dr. Myron Johnsrud. Now he was not only the director of the Extension Service, here, but he was also the national director of the extension service, and he served in Washington, D.C. for many years. His wife, Muriel, has passed away, but he is here in Fargo living in uh, Bethany 42. The Ag School Excellence in, in uh, Extension now, a lot of people don't know, but at, but at that time, 
nearly all the ag producers were just individual persons, companies, the RF Conkelman Company, the Russell Duncan Company, Interstate Seed Company. Uh, these are all companies that were members of the President's Ag Club. And one of them was a fellow named Clarence Sandy, and he was from uh, Grand Forks. And uh, he was a, a really uh, an interesting person. He's very critical of, ag of agriculture. He was on the Ag Consultation Board and a whole bunch of different boards that we had, but we all grew because of it. Charles and Linda Moses, he was the man owner and manager of Interstate Seed. He had a tremendous sense of humor and he always said, if you can't trust a man named Moses, who else can you trust? And then there's the Donald and Joe Anderson. You know, one of the things that a person needs to do if you ever get into administration is to surround yourself with good people because that's gonna make you look good. And Don Anderson was one of those kind of persons. He was my associate dean and director of research. And he was a, a, a key person working along with Dwayne Bergland and a liaison person to the President's Ag Club that created and raised a lot of the money. So Don Anderson really did a great job of creating uh, relationships with this group of people. The Rick and Jody Bergham staff who are, all of you I think probably know Rick Bergham. You certainly know about Bergham Hall and Catherine Bergham, uh, who was the Dean. I think if I remember right, her mother was the first female graduate from NDAC. So just for fun, I note that our own Greg Lardy was an award winner in 1999 for the Excellence in Extension Award. Let's give my hand again just for a while. And I'll finish by reading a, a thank you from a person that represents basically all of you because there's hundreds of people now since 1997 uh, when this award was first started. And uh, this says, Dear Janet and Rold, 10, 12, 15. Josh, it was great seeing both of you. Thank you so very much for your continuing generosity, Dr. Lund. These awards are a wonderful tradition that has established in the College of Agriculture about 1990 or so. 1991 was actually the first one. I think the negotiate the recognition that faculty and staff members receive is worth perhaps as much or more than the monetary value. But when the when the thank yous and congrats, congrats are all over, the money is really nice too. <laughs> The entire college looks forward to these annual awards and thank you again for all of your past help and your continued support of this wonderful tradition. Hey, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Sincerely, Dr. John Enns. Thank you very much. We're uh, privileged that Roald and Janet could join us this afternoon, and uh, normally they are actually uh, in Florida at this time of year, but uh, due to the hurricane, uh, they are actually going to spend the winter in Pelican Rapids at their lake place. So uh, if you've never had the privilege of reading Roald and Janet's Christmas letter, it's one that uh, you would actually find very inspiring, and I I particularly enjoy it because uh, in e each and every one of them usually has uh, three or four book recommendations of uh, very interesting books that Roald has read over the past year. And so, uh, Roald, I appreciate uh, you making those comments this afternoon, and thank you for your continuing support of our program. Now let's get to the nominees for each award. As your name is called, we'd like you to come up to the front of the room and receive your gift card and then return to your seat. The audience is asked to hold your applause until asked for each set of award nominees has been introduced. At this time, I'd like to invite Frank Casey, Associate Director of the North Dakota Agricultural Experiment Station, to the podium to introduce the nominees for the research awards. Good afternoon. So when you come up, uh, I'll say the name and then you receive the card. 
The first research award is the Larson Yegi Excellence in Research Award was established to recognize outstanding faculty and research extension center principal investigators with 10 or fewer years of service. The recipient must have made a significant research contribution that addresses an applied problem or increases the basic knowledge of the area investigated. Our thanks to the Larson and Yegi families for sponsoring this award. Following are the nominees for the Larson Yegi Excellence in Research Award. Samat Amat. Samat is an assistant professor in the Department of Microbiological Sciences. Venkat Chapara is an assistant agricultural experiment station specialist from Langdon Research Extension Center. Venkat is not here. Okay. Tori Hovick, associate professor of the School of Natural Resource Sciences. Audrey Kalyle. Associate Plant Pathologist, Williston Research Extension Center. Jia Jia Rao, Associate Professor, Department of Plant Sciences. Visha Rayamaji, Assistant Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Rex Sun, Assistant Professor, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. And Allison Ward, Associate Professor, Department of Animal Sciences. Let's give the nominees for the Larson Yegi Excellence in Research Award a warm round of applause. The second research award, the Eugene R. Dahl Excellence in Research Award, was established to recognize outstanding faculty and research extension center principal investigators with 11 or more years of service. The recipient must have a distinguished research program in basic or applied sciences that has gained significant recognition in the state, region, or nation, and or internationally. Our thanks to the Eugene R. Dahl family for sponsoring this award. The following are the nominees for the Eugene R. Excellence Dahl Excellence in Research Award. David Ryder, Professor, School of Natural Resource Sciences. Kendall Swanson, Animal Sciences. And Susie Thompson, Plant Sciences. Congratulations to the nominees. I now welcome Dr. David Buchanan, Associate Dean for the Academic Programs in the College of Agricultural Food Systems and Natural Resources to, to introduce the nominees for the Teaching and Advising Awards. Thank you, Dr. Casey. I'm pleased to introduce the nominees for two teaching awards and one advising award. The Earl and Dorothy Foster Excellence in Teaching Award recognizes outstanding teaching faculty with 10 or fewer years of service in the College of Agriculture, Food Systems, and Natural Resources. <clears throat> the award encourages and rewards excellence in teaching at all levels and among all disciplines. Nominees must hold a teaching appointment in the college. Our thanks to Earl and Dorothy Foster for sponsoring the award. Following your nominees for the Earl, Earl and Dorothy Foster Excellence in Teaching Awards, Nonoy Bendio, Assistant Professor, Department of Plant Sciences.
Danielle Condry, Assistant Professor of Practice, Department of Microbiological Sciences. David England, Senior Lecturer, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Lauren Holzman Hanna, Associate Professor, Department of Animal Sciences. Ilan Bua Monono, Assistant Professor, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Give all the nominees for the Earl and Dorothy Foster Excellence in Teaching Award round of applause. Our next award is the H. Rold and Janet Lund Excellence in Teaching Award. It recognizes outstanding teaching faculty with 11 or more years of service in the College of Agriculture, Food Systems, and Natural Resources. The award encourages and rewards excellence in teaching at all levels and among all disciplines. The nominees must hold a teaching appointment in the college. Our thanks to Rold and Janet Lund for sponsoring this award. The following are the nominees for the H. Rold and Janet Lund Excellence in Teaching Award. Sean DeKaiser, Professor, School of Natural Research Sciences. Thomas Gustad, Instructor, Department of Microbiological Sciences. Jeremy Jackson, Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Burton Johnson, Professor, Department of Plant Sciences. And Zhu Lin, Associate Professor, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Congratulations to all the nominees. The next award, the William J. and Angela A. Austin Excellence in Advising Award recognizes contributions of faculty and staff who have demonstrated excellence in advising undergraduate and graduate students enrolled in the college and or its students' organizations. Our thanks to the William J. and Angela A. Austin family for sponsoring this award. Following are the nominees for the William J. and Angela A. Austin Excellence in Advising Award. Lisa Christensen, Associate Professor of Practice, Department of Animal Sciences. Eric Hansen, Assistant Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Matt Olhoff, Senior Lecturer, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Rachel Richmond, Senior Lecturer, Department of Microbiological Sciences. Congratulations to all the nominees. And I'll welcome Dr. Lynette Blade, Associate Director of NDSU Extension, to introduce, to introduce the nominees for the Extension Awards. Thank you, Dr. Buchanan. And I'm pleased to introduce the nominees for the two Extension Awards. The first award, the Excellence in Extension Early Career Award, was established to encourage and reward significant accomplishments in excellence in extension educational programs. Individuals with 10 or fewer years of service to NDSU Extension are eligible for this nomination. The following are the nominees for the Excellence in Extension Early Career Award. 
Megan Hoffman, Associate Professor, 4-H Youth Development Specialist, North Dakota Center for 4-H Youth Development. Tom Peters, Associate Professor, Extension Sugar Beet Agronomist, Department of Plant Sciences. I believe Dr. Peters is attending a conference this week. And Travis, or TJ Prochaska, the Extension Crop Protection Specialist at the North Central Research Extension Center. Let's give the nominees for the Excellence in Extension Early Career Award a round of applause. The next award, the AGSCO Excellence in Extension Award was established to encourage and reward significant accomplishments and excellence in extension educational programs. Individuals with 11 or more years of service to NDSU Extension are eligible for nomination. Nominees must hold an extension appointment and be in the 2000 job band. Our thanks to AGSCO for sponsoring this award. The following are the nominees for the AGSCO Excellence in Extension Award. Ellen B. Elland, Extension Agent, Ward County. Mark Wattell, Professor, Extension Entomologist in the School of Natural Resource Sciences. Kurt Freilich, Extension Agent, Stark Billings County. Carrie Helgo, Extension Agent, Pemina County. Naeem Kalwar, Extension Soil Health Specialist at the Langdon Research Extension Center. And Frayne Olson, Associate Professor, Extension Crop Economics in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Congratulations to all of the nominees. And I now welcome Dr. Lardy back to the stage to introduce the nominees for the staff awards. Thank you, Lynette. I'm pleased to introduce the, the uh, nominees for the three staff awards. The first award, the Charles and Linda Moses Staff Award, recognizes significant contributions to the mission of NDSU Agricultural Affairs. The purpose is to encourage and reward excellence in job performance by professional staff. The nominee must have at least three years of continuous service in a staff position. On and, on, on and off campus staff members are eligible. Our thanks to Charles and Linda Moses for sponsoring this award. Following are the nominees for the Charles and Linda Moses Staff Award. Jennifer Carney, Director of Student Services, Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Roger Egerberg, Software Developer, Agriculture Communication. Peter Hawk, Research Scientist, Department of Plant Pathology. Chris Holt, Account Coordinator, NDSU Extension Director's Office. Scott Hoselton, Director, Core Laboratory Facility, Department of Microbiological Sciences. James Hyde, Research Specialist, NDON, School of Natural Resource Sciences. Don Quinn Lin, 
Research Specialist, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Sally Mann, Research Specialist, Department of Plant Sciences. Let's give the nominees for the Charles and Linda Moses Staff Award a warm round of applause. Our next award, the Donald and Joe Anderson Staff Award, recognizes significant contributions to the mission of NDS Agricultural Affairs. The purpose is to encourage and reward excellence in job performance by office support staff. The nominees must have at least three years of continuous service in a staff position. On and off campus staff members are eligible. Our thanks to Donald and Joe Anderson for sponsoring this award. Following are the nominees for the Donald and Joe Anderson Staff Award. Julie Beats, Information Processing Specialist, Student Services Coordinator, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Blaine Arabic, Distribution Coordinator, Agriculture Communication. Myrna Freight, Administrative Assistant, Carrington Research Extension Center. Karen Jemning, Administrative Secretary, Department of Plant Sciences. Edie Nelson, Administrative Assistant, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. And Sarah Shukard McGregor, Administrative Assistant, Langdon Research Extension Center. Neither of those nominees could join us today. Congratulations to all the nominees. Our final award, the Rick and Jody Burgum Staff Award, recognizes significant contributions to the mission of NDSU Agricultural Affairs. The purpose is to encourage and reward excellence in job performance by support staff in technical and paraprofessional crafts, trades, and or services. The nominees must have at least three years continuous service in a staff position. On and off campus staff members are eligible and our thanks to Rick and Jody Burgum for sponsoring this award. Following are the nominees for the Rick and, and Jody Burgum Staff Award. Chris Anderson, Print and Copy Services Production Manager, Agriculture Communication. Krista Caldwell, Senior Accounting Specialist, Department of Plant Sciences. And Diane Pennington, Account Technician, School of Natural Resource Sciences. Let's give a round of applause for our nominees. Now we're gonna move into uh, presenting the award recipients. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Frank Casey to the stage to present the research award recipients with a frame certificate and a letter while I announce them. We'll start with the Larson Yagi Excellence in Research Award, and I'll read a brief snippet from the award nomination that describes this person. This individual has been successful in developing a nationally recognized research program in the Northern Great Plains. Since arriving at NDSU, they've demonstrated their ability to compete for extramural funding, support graduate students, and complete research projects by publishing peer-reviewed articles. Congratulations, Tori Hobick, Associate Professor, School of Natural Resource Sciences. <laughs> Next.
Next is the Eugene R. Dahl Excellence in Research Award. This person is a talented scientist who has supported their work with an impressive amount of extramural funding. The re this researcher has developed a nationally and internationally recognized research program. Congratulations, Kendall Swanson, Professor of Animal Sciences. Now I'd like to call Dr. David Buchanan to the stage to present the Teaching and Advising Awards. We'll start with the Earl and Dorothy Foster Excellence in Teaching Award. This faculty member has revolutionized teaching in their own courses, as well as curriculum development in their department programs. Their teaching methods are noted as life-changing and ignite a passion for learning in their students. Congratulations, Danielle Condry, Assistant Professor of Practice, Department of Microbiological Sciences. Next is the H. Rold and Janet Lund Teaching Award. Students appreciate this faculty member's legendary organization of courses and lifelong skills given to students. This individual is also an outstanding mentor to faculty who incorporate this effective teaching style as their own. Congratulations, Tom Gusted, Instructor, Department of Microbiological Sciences. Now we'll move to the William J. and Angeline A. Austin Excellence in Advising Award. Sought out by students for advising, this individual has also started a research project to match curriculum and class recommendations with what employers are, were valuing in recent graduates. This individual is integral in managing internships to give students experience in their future careers. Congratulations, Eric Hansen, Assistant Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Next, I'd like to call Lynette Flage to the stage to present the NDSU Extension Awards. We'll start with the Excellence in Early Career Award. This individual has embraced the extension mission of bringing the university to the people. A genuine and caring professional, this individual's sparkling personality makes them approachable and their influential programming is respected by all. Congratulations, Megan Hoffman, Associate Professor, 4-H and Youth Development Specialist, Center for 4-H Youth Development. Now we'll move to the AGSCO Excellence and Extension Award. This individual's programming is known locally, statewide, nationally, and internationally. There is never any question that, is, that this individual cares about education and is committed to seeing the public understand the material that is presented. Congratulations, Brain Olson, Associate Professor, Extension Cropping Systems Economist, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. We'll finish the awards program with three staff awards. 
For the first award, the Charles and Linda Moses Staff Award, Lynette Plage will remain here as I announce the recipient. This individual is dependable, creative, and has excellent collaborative skills. Throughout their career, this individual has guided NDSU agricultural affairs through an era of incredible technological change. Congratulations, Roger Egeberg, software developer, Ag Communication. Next, I invite Dr. Buchanan to the stage to assist with the second staff award, the Donald and Joe Anderson Staff Award. This individual's years of passionate dedication to NDSU's mission of service includes a diverse set of responsibilities. They are willing to work hard and work well with others, frequently going above and beyond expectations. Congratulations, Myrna Freet, Administrative Assistant, Carrington Research Extension Center. For a final award, the Rick and Jody Burgum Staff Award, I'll call Frank Casey to the stage. This person anticipates upcoming situations to head off potential problems, anticipates opportunities to improve efficiencies, and has excellent communication, and is willing to collaborate throughout Ag Affairs in an impactful way. Congratulations, Diane Pennington, Account Technician, School of Natural Resource Sciences. As we come to the close of our awards program this afternoon, I wanna thank uh, everyone for attending both our in-person and online audience. Special thank you to all of those uh, people that did the work of putting the nominations together. Uh, and also thank you to our sponsors. I wanna give a special thank you to uh, our donors that are here in attendance, uh, Dr. Lund and Janet, thank you so much for your efforts in making this possible. Also want to thank uh, and congratulate all the nominees for all, all of the things that you do to contribute to our mission each and every day. It's a, it's a great organization to be part of, and I am privileged to serve as a, a leader here and I work with a great team of people. So thank you for everyone for the work that you do to carry out teaching, research, and extension programs uh, to the great state of North Dakota. We appreciate that very much. I also want to give a special thank you to the group of administrative staff that uh, put this program together. Uh, Janelle, Cami, Aaron, thank you so much for all of your efforts and all of our EdCom staff for the work that you do to make this possible, to get it out to our Zoom audience and all those that are in attendance uh, uh, in uh, our virtual audience. So thank you. And to our award recipients, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, we're really pleased to be able to do this each and every year. I'd invite you to stay afterwards. We've got plenty of uh, Christmas goodies back there, holiday treats. Uh, stay for a little bit of conversation and uh, fellowship as we end the program today. Thanks again for coming.